Oh. Hey, a popular Detroit restaurant opening in Grand Rapids this fall is called Bobcat Bonnie's. Did that look familiar to you, that restaurant at all? A bit. It's the old, uh, is it the Hooligans? Yeah, oh, that's right. Yes. That's right. Yep, it's uh, the original location is in Corktown neighborhood of downtown Detroit, and since opening in 2015, they've expanded to other cities on the west side. They'll be opening later this year in Breton Village that's Mall, right. which is right next to Breton the Village. Skin Skin Lab place that we always go to for plastic surgery. Yeah, I've been so to Hula, Hula at Breton Village has been there a couple of times. Yeah, it's yeah. a great, I mean, it's a beautiful patio, right? Yeah. So make sure to follow them on their Grand Rapids Facebook page for all the latest updates. But I love the location, it's a great little. You Bob, know, like the patio, whatever. Bobcat Bonnie's. <laughs> right? It looks like a, like a tropical place. I got like a flamingo and a macaw. Yeah, I don't know if that was. I don't. Is, I don't is know that, what that's is all that about. Is that the theme they're going with? I don't know. Hey, friends of Grand Rapids Parks are bringing back yay movies in the park. They're back this summer. The first one is tomorrow at Martin Luther King Park. Starting at 7 p.m., there will be yard games, music, and other entertainment. Nine o'clock, the movie's going to start. And it's going to be one of my favorite movies, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Probably the best Spider-Man movie out there. You can check out the full summer schedule just by going to friendsofgrparks.org. You know, we talked to the owner of this shop live on our show, but now we're going to look inside the Good Cookie Sweet Shop in Grand Rapids. Oh, yeah. yeah, Candace was there the other day, I think. It recently opened at the corner of Fuller and Fulton on the city east side. They offer all kinds of different desserts with everything made fresh in-house, and every month they plan to give back through their Doing Good initiative, where they select a local nonprofit to donate a portion of their sales. Good Cookie also does catering, and they have their own gift shop as well. You can check them out at the goodcookiegr.com. I love it. It's a cute little white building, pink mm -hmm. trim. It's just perfect for that for that location. It looks like a, a like a cookie shop. Yeah, doesn't it? it does. <laughs> hey, University of Michigan legend Charles Woodson. There he is on your screen. He's getting into the whiskey game. Woodson Bourbon Whiskey goes for about forty bucks a bottle. They're finished. The whiskey is finished in the same French oak wine barrels used for Woodson's Napa Valley Cabernet. Also features that iconic maize and blue sticker that might catch your eye on the store shelves. The whiskey is being distributed through Imperial, Imperial Beverage in Kalamazoo, and Michigan is going to be the first state to offer it up to retailers. All right, speaking of Michigan, did Michigan make the cut as one of the best states to live in? Mm, I don't see them. I don't see them on there, do you? No, According no. to finance website Wallet Hub, New Jersey came in at number one. Michigan's not on the list because we're down at 25. The study looks into 52 factors for each state to determine which reigns supreme. Factors range from income growth, education rate, and quality of hospitals. Massachusetts came in at two, New York was third, and rounding out the top five, Idaho and Minnesota. On the flip side, the site found New Mexico, Alaska, and Louisiana were amongst the worst states uh, to live no in. No offense to our Jersey friends, but in any list that has New Jersey as the best state to live in, I can't trust that survey. Even there, people but... from New Jersey know that New Jersey's bad. <laughs> Interesting list, it for is. sure.